Hi Chewies, here's your Alexandra. Since uh, last week uh, some pictures of the new Necrons are leaked into uh, the internet, I thought I will uh, show you uh, a little bit Necron love here. Uh, and I asked a good friend of mine, uh, Gravebreaker Chris, um, to hand me over some of his Necrons. And well, today I welcome you to my Tomb Spider painting tutorial. Well, I chose Tomb Spider because I can show you uh, both ways of uh, painting uh, the silver parts of a Necron and um, this uh, nice dark green with a, a glowing edges um, color scheme that you could use for uh, almost any uh, Necron vehicle, uh, destroyer or monolith that uh, you might have in your army later. So I know this is an old model. The new Tomb Spider model isn't out yet. <coughs> um, there are basically two ways uh, Games Workshop will produce this year as a fine cast variant or uh, it gets a completely new set, but uh, I guess uh, the paint job will be still the same. This year is one of the uh, small occasions uh, where I don't put the model completely together. <coughs> I only attach uh, the arms and the weapon, so um, the legs are uh, still loose. and. I will go ahead now and prime the whole model in Chaos Black Spray Primer. So, I'll be back when he's primed. Now the Tomb Spider is primed, as you can see, here's the flying base. Um, and what I will do now is um, dry brushing the under parts, the weapons and the head and uh, parts of the legs in um, Dark Steel, followed by Bolt Gun Metal and Mr. Silver. I won't record this um, because I already have. If you want to know how to do this, just click on this Necron here and watch the tutorial for him. So, and I'll be back when uh, the Tomb Spider is silvered out. Be right back. Uh, and the Tomb Spider is silver from the underside now. The top part now we will paint in a 50-50 mix out of Orchide Shade foundation paint and Chaos Black to give it a nice dark green ground color. So just simply paint it on until you have a nice even coat. But with this color it is almost impossible to not get an even coat. So. What I will uh, paint now here is uh, both parts here of the shelf, this little part here in the front, and uh, the side panels of the legs. And after I've done this, I will attach the legs uh, to the bottom part here. And then I'll be back. The Tomb Spider should look like this now. What I do now is uh, taking Dark Angel's Green and water it down at least by 4 to 1. You see how watery this paint is now. So you take uh, the color on your brush and you see there's way too much color on it. So you take a paper towel and pull it over and <coughs> yeah that's that's the right amount so that the color doesn't spread anymore. So let's get closer here <coughs> and what I will do now is paint over the edge big line like this, but I try not to pull the paint, it's just a layer of very, very thin Dark Angel's Green, like this. See? You always uh, use the tip of the brush to drag away the pools like that when there's a pool dot. Just drag it away, so that it's just a fine line of dark angel screen. <coughs> when it is dry, you almost don't notice it anymore. But that's okay. That's what we are looking for. <coughs> so, what I will do now is paint all the edges like this. So it's like a very big edge highlighting here. So, I will finish this up. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, every line has now been painted and 
what I will do now is doing the same thing with a different color. This time I'm using snot green. Also very watery like before. Just go over the edges. And keep a little bit of the dark angel's green line behind. It doesn't matter that it is uh, not 100% uh, correct and even, that will uh, fade out. But that's what you want to do. <coughs> Just paint in this snot green. So, this you will do three times at least to get a, a nice coverage and always make it a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Like that, you see <coughs> how this is uh, popping out now through the dark green here. So, yeah, there's a little hole in the metal where the color is pooling, but that's okay. That will dry and you won't notice it anymore. So, <coughs> I will finish that up and be right back. Okay, now it looks like this and you really start to see this uh, green effect here around the edges. What I will do now is taking Scorpion Green uh, without diluting it and I will go now over the edges like that, see? And that pops out this edge extremely. So just take your brush and go over the edge just like that. Very gently. There, I need some more. Like that. See? Okay, I will go around now all the edges and I'll be right back. Okay, there we have it. The Tomb Spider looks like a computer platine now. <laughs> And the last highlight uh, we will do with uh, Vallejo's yellow green. There's the number. Uh, don't uh, <coughs> uh, confuse it with a uh, green yellow. <laughs> There's also a color, but it's not this one. So, and uh, also without diluting it, I will go now for the uh, final highlight here on the front parts. Oh, well. Actually, it is a back part, but uh, the <coughs> most exposed edges, like here at the front, to give it just a little bit more of extra highlight. So, and that's all that it is to paint a Necron Tomb Spider. <coughs> uh, what I will do now is uh, painting the rods and Scorpion green and also the eyes and then the miniature is finished. Um, some of you like to uh, leave the flying bases clear like that. Um, some of you might put some grass on it. Or, well, I'll leave it like that. Uh, I'll be right back and show you the end result. There we go. The finished tomb spider ready for battle. Here I have painted the eyes, uh, they are painted just exactly like a uh, crystal. If you want to know how to paint a crystal, then you should uh, watch my um, Striking Scorpion painting tutorial. There I show how to uh, paint crystals. And yeah, voila, that's your Tomb Spider. And next to a normal Necron Warrior, here the rods uh, will fit in nicely. So, I hope you like this little painting tutorial of a tomb spider and we see us in the next video. And I hope uh, you now have a clue how to paint your uh, tomb spiders, your monolith 
all your new fancy Necron vehicles and uh, also your destructors and everything else that has a shelf like this. <coughs> Until the next video, you're Alexandra.